in this video i'm just going to provide you a differential equation and try to find out whether this differential equation is linear or non-linear and also provide or also explain why this is a non-linear or a linear and in the second case you have to predict what is the highest power of this uh, power of the highest derivative it can be d square y by t s square and you suppose this is the order and its power will be a certain degree so you have to find out what is the degree of this differential equation so the differential equation will be d square y by this dx square plus dy by dx plus x cube multiplying with this y and this is equals to e to the power this x and so this is the differential equation now you have to figure out or you have to predict whether this differential equation is linear or it is a non-linear differential equation so since we have this exponential to the power this x this is behaving as a non-linear and we know that for the linear differential equation we will have dn to the power y by this dx to the power this n let's assume the coefficient is a0 plus a1 dn minus 1 y multiplying with this dx to the power n minus 1 plus a2 d to the power n minus 2 multiplying with this y dx to the power n minus 2 and so on and at the last is this thing that it will be n minus n so the power will be 0 and this is starting from this a0 and let's assume this is a n multiplying with this y and which is equals to uh, some other uh, constant or it can be a function of a uh, independent variables and this a0 a1 a2 and so on up to this a n and this q are all uh, all of them can be constant or it can be a function of this ind independent variable like you can observe here this independent variable is x and uh, independent function when it comes to the function of independent variable uh, this y will be equals to this function of this x so this is the independent variable x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable because this is depending on this variable x so so this is a general representation of certain uh, differential equation is linear so this is the case of being a linear and this differential equation will be a non-linear because we have this exponential and this is because of this term we say it as a non-linear and the highest derivative that is d square y by this dx square so what is the reason that this is the highest order so that is because uh, we are doing derivative or this derivative is two times with respect to this x and this y is actually the function of this x so this is the highest derivative and its power is equals to 1 and this power represents the degree so degree of this highest derivative which is present in this differential equation is this thing and its power is equals to a number one so degree of highest order differential equation is this one its power is one if suppose we have two it will be a uh, square and we should also consider whether this will be a linear or non-linear because all its derivative is having a power as a value one so we must also care about uh, its power and it's, you should also know about this general representation of 
this differential equation being a linear or a nonlinear. So make sure that these constants coefficients will be a0, a1, a2 and up to this an. And so let me also talk about why this education is or why this kind of studying is quite useful. And main thing here is we should not remember all this kind of thing. Main thing here is whether your mind is actually focusing on or actually uh, staying in this reality or not and try to love this reality and try to read these types of or try to be more creative and sometimes this distraction comes from it can be from friends or it can be a television or something like that and because of that our creative creativity may be uh, becoming less or something like that because of certain distraction and to improve our focus level or our memory capacity we should try to read these kind of stuffs and do these kind of activities like controlling our fingers uh, because these fingers uh, may be distracting <coughs> like catching a mobile or something like that or trying to catch a remote and clicking on that again and again instead of that if you control these fingers like writing and something like that it will be quite interesting and also try to avoid these kind of editing and something like that because that doesn't exist and it, they are always try to distract you like there is some another kind of uh, some another kind of world which is quite uh, interesting or something like that and try to avoid this kind of environment which is not actually exist so try to stay away from this kind of editing and something like that and try to focus on uh, this kind of stuff and after uh, if you stop reading this kind of stuff you will be feel relaxing or something like that or you can meditate uh, anything something like that and so try to control these fingers uh, by writing this kind of stuff and try to write neatly so I hope you have enjoyed this video and and also I provided some interesting tips why we have to study and I uh, improve our focus level and concentration on these kind of stuffs and also try to control your fingers because fingers are quite useful and try to write this neat handwriting again and again because our, our mind always tries to distract him uh, like uh, watching the television it can be phone mobile phone or something like that so these kind of activities like creating some videos and also try to do just like me like creating videos and it is also going to save your time and some other kind of person cannot able to say that you have done nothing and you can actually show that you have done these kind of things like uh, studying and uploading in these videos and th you, have, you can actually show these videos like I have done this kind of thing and you are actually saving your work if you do certain videos and saving in this kind of YouTube channels something like me and try to do that so this is about some more tips you can follow for your life and it is going to improve your life a much easier and try to avoid this kind of distraction and stay and try to love your reality so I'm going to provide some more uh, interesting things in the upcoming videos and some more new topics which is quite interesting uh, for some of those and also try to read the description it is going to provide some more information like it is going to take you towards the github page and where I have just providing some uh, programming related stuff and also try to check the uh, playlist which is available in these YouTube videos some of you may like uh, the playlist and try to read that it is going to provide some more new topics or a new stuff which you may like so I'm going to come again in the upcoming video so see you again